scene of the first fight, or will it be round one of a different fight? With the jab, by far his weapon in the first fight. Sit with his right glove and fires a couple more jabs. Body shot by... Well, already not giving up much ground, Jim, like he did in the first fight. He's coming out being more grip. Oh, conscious of that. Normally. This is attack. And Golovkin thrown a power shot. 13 to go in the round. And Golovkin back just a little bit. Jabs upstairs. Of now course. there's a good one by Canelo. Tactical fight early on. But with Canelo... That's exactly what he wants, Jim. He, this is playing right into Golovkin's favor. I believe now, Canelo didn't that's come that's out and stalk like this in the first Only part. 10 seconds left in a tactical round. Golovkin again oh, no, no, no. snaps Canelo's head back bell, with bell, a jab. Campana. I titled the first round Respect. They showed enormous respect for each other. Lemon differs with me and gives the first round to Canelo Alvarez. Yes. Golovkin can win a tactical round. We saw in the first fight, Canelo was, had to be more aggressive. This continues as we go into round two. Golovkin's right eye. Yes, from the hook. Golovkin with the deep amateur in the Olympics, a dominant international. Have the skills to control the fight. Yes, he does, but oh, good oh, shot. Oh, left hook by Canelo. So Canelo landing a meaningful power shot. Still a little heavier on that front foot. It's not that Golovkin can't box in the middle of the ring. It's why he, he wants to know comfortable. Not giving him any ground, so he can't. Canelo back if Canelo will back. Wait, who's the hooker here? Canelo. By far, because he's got a hook to the head. But Triple G has a big hook, too. Don't get it wrong. Cut over his right eye, it looks Triple G. A good body shot. Now, can, or, or, or Triple G opens up and throws some power shots. Good job. Canelo wants a power shot. Ducks under another shot. Oh, good shot. Canelo with a 5 to nothing egg. Good hook. Left hook lands for Triple G. Canelo. And another one. Two heavy handed guys exchanging. <laughs> <laughs> Jabbing here to try to put the round away. But Canelo's landed some hard shots. Insects flowing, but the rock talked to the fighter and did nothing with give, he giving him too much respect for because he doesn't Golovkin can't seem to do nothing about it yet. Body shot by Canelo, he continues to lead in that category. Disciplines aggressive fighters because it's not just that he counters, he counters with he puts shock on those punches, man. Good shot, triple G. Golovkin throwing and landing more now. Ten more landed. Canelo had success in the He's definitely more aggressive. He's leaning on his front foot. He's not backed up. Triple G hasn't really left hook. Missed. He's back with the second one and grazes Canelo. That's Triple it. G is letting his hands go more than in the first fall. Roy, you wonder what... Hard already, Max. He's not really used to that heaven to him. Oh, if Canelo lands some good body shot... But you see the margin by long haul. Agreed. And it's something that Triple G... Must have felt he needed to do more of this fight. Or however you have the round scored. While Triple G is winning the CompuBox. Can you imagine a 29, 28, two rounds to one, Canelo Alvarez. Jim, I thought Canelo was stronger, landed the hard so If one of the judges had it going the other, Alvarez, very, very close. A couple of attempted right hands for Godlovkin. Count. He hadn't been throwing as many as his punches clean. They tend to be straight punches. Canelo's landing the crooked punches clean. Oh, oh. Uppercut land. Amazing chin. Amazing chin, but Triple G's using a very good jab. That's giving him a little bit of an advantage. These are just devil. He's got all the... And there's a body shot for Triple G. That's what he needs. His comfortable fight. Doing a good job of winning the fight with that jab, though. Then Canelo, partially because Canelo's making it. But so far, guys, with momentum, he's not put his punches together. He has isolated moments, and then Canelo comes back and counters. It's not like it's the first round. Oh, good shot. Great body shot by a big body shot in a fight like this. The other guy comes right back with his body shot. Triple G did not. Ending a stiff jackhammer jab. Daughter at ringside. And now we go to round five of the schedule. 23 more total punches. He has thrown 80 more. I think Canelo has a look on over his... I saw him working on in the corner. Triple G had the red spot over the right eye. And now... ends his jab right on the left eye of Canelo. Blood on his beard from that cut. I mean, there's away from Canelo. But he's getting... Canelo doing something... He's constantly stalking him like that. 
<laughs> to change the momentum of this fight. He is fading fast. That's so far, we saw so much of in the Canelo game. You are better going. Canelo and forcing said, Triple G to work for the knockout since his camp opened, and he is fighting like he trained there. Triple G looked like he's fading a little bit, Max. He's not feeling comfortable when he's fighting on the front. Everybody has to be careful. Good body shots. He's at him, and he banged you with two good body shots. Still the body attack seems, but he lands his jab continuous. He said he hopes Canelo brings it for the fans, for boxing. Exactly what they wanted him to do, tripled throughout. And Canelo's just going to get better because he's used to fight like this, man. Good with the left hand by Canelo. Yes. And the jab is probably was cut over the left eye in two previous fights. In the fight, in your eyes, Max, Harold Letterman has the love can up three rounds to two. The fight necessarily is that he, that's what Canelo does. Back right up. hand that lands from behind, throwing as many punches in this round. Left hook over the top of Golovkin. Canelo reaching with the right hand. Left foot to the body. Look. Did Triple G take before he started to break? Um, but he got to be kept head off of that. That's what Canelo's working on. Left hook and Lumpkin. And Canelo back with an uppercut of his own. And Triple G saw him remax. He pretty much blocking that body for Golovkin. Man, for both of them. <laughs> it's fight though, it's not his fight. His Nello fight. who's dictating the fight. <laughs> Canelo used to make one of the first rounds in which Canelo had edge and landed box. 17 oh. seconds to See go. that, guys? Triple yep. G way getting hit, and Triple G is get up and used to the contact and egging Canelo on. Any time, Max, because he's not used to this stuff. Canelo has had several of these popular everywhere he goes. Harold Letterman, how did you score the first six rounds of the fight? Okay, Jim, I got it three rounds apiece. I got it all even. 50-57 fight, Jim. Uh, I gave rounds three, four, and five. Let me see. Three, four, and five to Gennady Golovkin. Yes, but uh, I thought Canelo came back and wants to tie it up. I've got it. Round six was a round in which Canelo landed. Canelo, Canelo continues to throw body shots. Dan Golovkin. To win the story of the fight, Roy, after all, a pretty in good indication to do. Max, if he outstalks, if he stalks Triple G, they're going to give Triple G this decision. And completely out of his game. He, brought it, he beat him back and up and had his way to it. This type of fight, he's forcing his way when he wants it. There's no way to go. Oh, he's, he's looking for the knockout, which is a... <laughs> Clearly, to this point... <laughs> hard... <laughs> and left. Canelo wouldn't have taken a lot about Canelo Alvarez. But he said that he was going to, it's rare that before a big fight like this, says he's going to do something, what he says he's going to do. Canelo said he's going to take, even though it was Triple G most felt needed to take more fight, Canelo has taken those risks. And whether he wins or meant exactly what I thought he meant to tonight, ain't nothing able that nobody else can do about it. Right. 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 But he left hook. Upper for Canelo, I mean for Triple G. Triple G is used to like that and then walking to the neutral corner in here. So that's the way Abel Sanchez sees it. A clear sign he's trying to motivate the open up and take more risks and hard shots in the second half of the fight. It's like I told Max, Abel Sanchez knows that fighting, if they go to 12 rounds like this, there's no way to Triple G that decision. And for what it's worth, Harold Letterman gave the round to Golovkin. In this fight that I see is that Canelo trusts his beard. He believes he can take Triple G shots, so land his own. Become the hunter. The stalker. Hard right hand by Canelo. And Abel Sanchez is going to have to take more as his power quotient is going up from around. Better believe it. Hard jab. But out. And Triple G lands. Oh, he's determined and dicks on right now. He's landing the punishing shots, too. Right, for the most part, they're both landing punishing shots. But Canelo is the guy you'd rather be in. Body shots are devastating. And increasingly, it looks to me like Golovkin's going to have to leave one of those iconic for us in order to win that fight. He's taking a lot of down. And you know, you, well, you might not, but in boxing, it takes time. I think two things are possible, Max. Ida Golovkin does not have the kind of power he had through most of his career that Canelo Alvarez brings. You take nothing away from guest Daniel Jacobs when it appeared. Right hand. Canelo with, his Triple G withstood the test, so let's see what happens now. No, no, more. Ten seconds. The cut opened up over Alvarez's left eye, too. This Hard right hand for Golovkin. He needed that punch. They did. Right. Harold Letterman now has Golovkin sneaking ahead on his scorecard by a point. I'm surprised by that. 
So Triple G landed more. His punches seem to at the end of the round. Yeah, it seemed like Triple G's favor. And Abel Sanchez said he was pleased with the round. I think he was pleased because his fighter took a little bit. First round, I seen that he had control of the fight. Triple G with that stiff jab. Oh. Now lands a right hand again. Canelo comes back with his counter shots. Lands a right hand over the top. Triple G comes right back, firing with energy. Both guys looking to end this fight right now. Oh. Great shots at center ring. His jab. Right hand lead for Canelo. Triple G trying to get a little brilliant fighters. The banger became the boxer. And Canelo takes a moment off. To get Canelo in trouble, I'll put in the work to the body. Very tired, actually. Can uh, Canelo is making it work right now, on purpose, to make it to the a late round burst. In the first fight, it was Deuce the late round burst. He'd do it again and put the fight away. Career on the line. Some here. And restore the leg. Only a few moves to see. Good body shot. Hard right hand by Canelo Alvarez. Back with his own right hand. And Alvarez at 30 seconds to go. Big left hook for Golovkin. See, those Triple G shots are starting to move Canelo a little more than they did, even as judges score blood, too. Triple G on the attack. Looking at the blood. I can make that blow. Good to Golovkin. Ten seconds. A straight right hand lands. He got in the last shot. Yeah, he did. Another Six rounds to three. Gennady Golovkin. Jim, this fight is really, really close. Yeah, I've got it six to three Golovkin, but if any of the judges had it the, uh, the opposite way, I wouldn't argue because each round is close. I mean, they're standing in the middle of the ring banging on each other. Very, very close round. I've got it six to three Gennady Golovkin. Andre right. Ward against Sergey Kovalev. Ward was winning the story of the fight even as Gup Fighter closed the show and knocked his guy. It's so difficult to fight the score. I could very easily see a judge. These next three rounds. Rounds to three, just the way Harold has Golovkin up. Six rounds. This and nobody goes down. He could go for the stoppage, but then Golovkin comes through with shots and like lands that. Two hard power shots. And you can easily see us with another rematch with a fight number three. Let's see if Triple G still has the magic. Suddenly has Canelo standing still and momentarily in trouble. That was the most hurt Canelo has been in any moment against Gennady Golovkin. Canelo looked hurt by that, but he's firing back. He did look hurt. Lasted a few seconds. And now Can gets in a right hand. Triple landing Triple G again. Hard body shot by Canelo. So Triple much the story it. of the fight. Rallies when the guy's been working your body. The rally like that one. Harder to sustain since the opening round. Yes, sir. Another hard right. The straight right hand lands again. Canelo, that rally by Triple G that momentarily <sighs> is that when judges score this rally wobbled. There's a body, body shot. Finally. Another body shot. Like it meant it. Triple G looking Pushing. with the right hand. Really from upstairs, meantime. Good hook by Triple Great hook. Body shot for Canelo. What a chin on both of them. Spectacular. Gennady Golovkin appears to have won the tenth round when most he needed it. What's the outcome of this fight? Yes, he has. And he's done it by taking risk. He's done it by plumb the line. But we must, there are writers at Ringo ahead in the fight, in boxing. Meantime, the first fight was great. This one's that he had through much of the middle of the last fight. And now he's but not scored those Perfect. when he hits them the way he's hit Canelo. And G upstairs is the best punch of the fight. Yes, it is. Saved his career. Yes, it is. Career needs a win. How is Canelo coming forward throwing power shots? He's, he's real Mexican style for real. A this minute left in the round, still on the table. Triple G fighting a beautiful. <laughs> this time Triple G blocked the burn at seeing. <laughs> couldn't miss or couldn't get the right hand home. In the latter part of the fight, able to land combinations and limit out, and there's a hard one, Triple G. And a hard right uppercut by Ab another good right hand. Ten seconds to go in the 11th round. Good right hand. From Alvarez, not blocking it. Second half seemed to belong to Alvarez. 
Sits on breathe. Power shots upstairs. Uppercut for Golovkin. Knocking Alvarez's head back. He's off to a great start in the closing round. Somehow, Gennady's last three rounds. You, you, you can't say enough about G's been met like a ling his way back into this fight and rocking Canelo. Talk about big drama show. This has been a drama show. Nope. Throwing and throwing. Alvarez lands. It's a pier six brawl. They come. A minute and a half to go. Alvarez fighting as though he believes he needs a knockout. The great fighters can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Middleweight greats. Certainly the greatest middleweights of this era, much by both tonight. Less than a minute to go. Who have to love get in the middle of a... Being mid busy in the center of the... the look. They trade uppercuts. Left hook, half lands for Alvarez. Both fighters dead tight. Exhausted on... 10 seconds. Who gets the last? Golovkin with the right hand. 